Okay. All right. We're going to try this stats question here with probability. Um, now, the question itself didn't have enough information for us to actually answer it, but I put in an example of something that might work similarly um, if we knew what kind of colors and how many marbles we had. So I'm going to change this problem a little bit just to see um, how it would work if we knew the amounts of marbles in each. So what we're going to do is say we have this example. So let's say you were counting the marbles. Um, and so we'll start with yellow, for example. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six yellow. And then green, we have one, two, three, four. And two red marbles. And let's say that they asked us um, for the probability of drawing first a red marble and then a green marble. Okay, so how we would do this question, uh, first we need to know how many total marbles are there. So if we count them all up um, or add the numbers together, we would get 12. So 6 plus 4 is 10 plus two is 12, or I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I have 12 total. And my probability is important here to figure out um, that I am replacing the marble. So it is important here that this says replaced the marble. So the probability of the first draw I'm going to put this in parentheses here, is for drawing the red marble. So I put how many red marbles I have on the top. So I have two out of the total of 12. So this would be the one for the red. And then my second draw is important here. Again, because I replace it, that means there will still be 12 total marbles in the bag. So my bottom number is 12. And then my green marble, so I have four green marbles. And then all I do is multiply these probabilities together. So when I multiply fraction probabilities, I'm going to multiply straight across. Two times four, my numerators together give me eight. And my denominator is 12 and 12. Give me 144. And so then I need to divide the 8 by 144. And then my question here, it did say in the problem to round to four decimal places. So we've got 0, 0 0.0, and then it's 5 repeating. So when I round to four decimal places, I have one, two, three, and then my last one would round up to a six because if it's five or greater, the next value, then I'm going to go up and add one more. I don't know if you ever heard that saying, five or greater, add one more when you're rounding. So instead of putting another five, because the next digit would be also a five, I round that up to a six, okay? If you need a percentage, this would also then be, if I move my decimal place over to spots, or whoops, I'm sorry, I should go the other way. One, two. So it would be 5.56%. Okay. All right, the next question is a little bit different though. So for this one, it says, um, again, we're just gonna keep it the same. Let's say six yellow. And four green. And two red. go. If two different marbles are drawn from the bag, and it's important here to note, it does not say we were replacing it. What is the probability of first drawing, let's say yellow, and then red? Okay, so from here, 
what we're going to do again is start with our yellow marble, which there are six out of 12. And then my second marble, this is where it's different because I now have one less marble. It would be out of 11, um, but I still have a green or I still have four greens in there. Okay, if you were drawing two like yellows in a row, make sure you would note that that would drop to five because you would already have pulled out the yellow. Um, but we are drawing yellow and then green. So I have six yellow that I start with. I have now removed a yellow. So there are still four green left, but there's only 11 marbles remaining. And then again, I'm going to multiply my numerators. Six times four is 24. 12 times 11 is... 132, and then I divide one or 24 divided by 132, and I get 0 0.18 repeating. So I would continue with my four decimals would be one, eight, one, eight. And then the next number would be a one. So I do not round that eight up to a nine. I leave it as an eight. And then if you wanted to do the percentage, that would be 18.18%. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps.